Let's start this one with an interesting question. What's the first thought that crosses your mind when you see a Lancia Delta Integrale? Whoa, 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 stop. I was just thinking about giving her a wash and taking her for a spin. Who came up with that crazy rally idea anyway, huh? I've been searching for this all my life. Just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. Your dark hair with those eyes so bright. They look into my soul and it sparks my life. Can I take you there? So what exactly is Lancia Delta Integrale and how does a street version drive? Well, Lancia Delta was a Group A homologation model after the Group B was abruptly banned. They had to come up with something and they built this. In 1980s, the cool part of the homologation cars was that they were really similar to the actual race cars. Nowadays, if you see a DTM car or a WRC car, it doesn't have much in common with the street car. But this one did. Uh, although, I have to say, the street version <coughs> was actually based on a 79 entry model chassis. And the collector's cars nowadays are really to be taken easy with. because. If you push them, if you track them, the chassis will crack. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. The second thing is, I think the Italians, when building this car, they just had racing success in mind. They didn't care about how I sat, look at me touching the roof, how the inclination of the steering wheel is. They just made this car for homologation reasons and uh, didn't care about us normal height drivers. special models for the Lancia Delta Evoluzione like Giallo Ginestra, Bianco Perlato, both Martinis 5 and 6 and the dealer's collection, the Hi-Fi and so on. I've probably forgot some of them but they were all made in very small amount of units so it made them really special. Each one had different features. I'll tell you a few things about the Martini 6. It's an interesting story actually because I think they didn't quite expect the sixth title so they thought the Martini 5 was the final version, the ultimate Martini or the Lancia Delta Integrale version. Then they achieved this sixth World Rally Championship title and they had to come up with something very quick. So I think they actually picked up the pieces of an EVO 1, EVO 2, it's a mixture of both. It has the mechanics of an EVO 1, which also means it's catless. By the way, try explaining that to your MOT man. It has the decorative elements of an EVO 1, but the interior, the seats of an EVO 2, of course, uh, covered in blue Alcantara, especially for the Martini 6 model. Uh, so it's quite a mix up. I think they really picked up pieces from whatever was left and assembled this car to celebrate the sixth World Rally Championship title. So the Martini 6 was kind of made in a hurry. But how can you tell a Martini 6 from the other Lancia Delta Evoluzione models? Well, 
The first thing that's super obvious is of course the martini livery, all the stickers on the roof, and the spoiler and so on. The second thing which is not that obvious is the white color, which is actually different from the other Evoluzione models, which are white. The next item which really pops out are, of course, the seats. These seats are from Evo 2 and are covered in blue turquoise Alcantara. Also the door panels and so on. Then we have the gear lever, which is specific, the carbon plate, the identification plate for the Martini 6. And of course, the Clarion CRX 111R. This was actually one of the coolest cars from my childhood and all I ever wanted to do with it is send it sideways like the Group A pilots did it. But understanding how fragile this chassis is and how delicate the mechanics are, I had to slightly change that plan to a more moderate boosting it up every now and then and taking those curves nice and easy and just pretending to be Juha Kankonen in 1991 sending it those corners. But even that does it for me. With this car, every mile is pure enjoyment. I hope you liked this short episode. I'm gonna try my best to make a proper one for this beauty and see you guys. Uh, it's not broken. Just checking the oils. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type. I've been looking.